All right, what we are building here tonight is the advanced up down counter kit from Velleman, the K8035. Take a good look at the parts there. All right, we got ourselves a big PC board here. Lots of solder points on there. It's a wire. Don't know what that's for yet, but we'll read the instructions. We'll find out. Over here we've got all the parts. Some display LEDs and a proprietary pre-programmed microchip right there. Resistors and diodes. Capacitors, IC sockets. Plenty of different ICs in there. Resistors. What do we got here a crystal. Looks like we got a crystal here. Uh -huh, yes. Transistors. Your usual stuff. All right. After showing you all the parts there, next thing I got started on was step one, which was soldering in all of the uh, jumper points there. You can see them there. There's ten of them. And we'll move on. All right. So now on the so far on the uh, up and down counter, we finished all the buttons and the resistors and the uh, IC sockets here and the voltage regulator and the diodes. And now we're starting on the capacitors. You can see. We'll have this thing up and running here soon. And <clears throat> so now we're on step 11 here, where we're uh, putting in some uh, resistors uh, vertically instead of horizontally. But the last few resistors here, I'll show you where those are going. Right next to the uh, series of um, sockets there where the display LEDs are going to go. Resistor 1 through 9, I think it is there. So, oh that's 8, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got all those vertical resistors done and we got the connector in and the switch over here. Dip switch, four position dip switch. And so the next thing is to solder in this crystal. It's uh, 4.19 megahertz. I don't know if you can see that on there. 4.19 megahertz crystal. And then the electrolytic capacitors. And then we'll put in the displays and the pre programmed pick chip. And we'll turn it on and we'll show you what it does. All right, what you're looking at now is the completed advanced up down counter velamin kit. It is connected to this Arduino right now, but I'll show you what it does by itself here. We'll just go ahead and power it on here. It goes through the test there. It says good. All right. So now output is on one of these wires here. So you've got your reset, I mean your set button, which you can set which number to make the output turn on up and down and then reset here so you can go up count up and down you can hold it down and count real fast and then count down alright so I just reset it now I'm gonna turn the Arduino on I've got the Arduino programmed for these pins here to turn on 
at a random number between zero and a hundred so it'll show you it'll count that how it'll, I'll show you how this can count the pulses from an external device you can use up to 12 volts I believe it said in the instruction manual okay I got the Arduino on there and it's counting the pulses from the Arduino now you can see pin 13 is up pulse there and then the other one is down and I think on the up when I programmed it on the up I think I might have put more than a hundred I think it was like a hundred and ten or something I don't know but that's externally controlled right there by the Arduino and that's it and say we reset it well it's going down yeah see it'll go it'll go to 999 there while it's counting down it count it down from a thousand so that's it that's the advanced up down timer kit from Velleman hooked up to an Arduino trying to get this thing to go start from zero and counts up here ah here we go it's got a couple different modes too you can count like oop, that's not one of the modes that it supports you count uh, half hour intervals or hour long intervals I believe it's got a internal oscillator too don't quite understand all the other functions just yet but it's pretty simple though just these little wires and buttons and stuff and simple circuitry shit Thanks for watching.